this is the this is an annual conference called the Information Studies Conference, mm -hmm. an international conference, uh, which focuses on issues in information science, information studies. Uh, it has run for uh, 18 uh, times. This is the 18th uh, conference and it's focusing, its major thing is on uh, trends in the management of uh, e-content in the digital era. So I'll start by saying I welcome everybody uh, to this conference. We take pride as a university in hosting you at the University of Zululand. The fact that you've recognized that this is a wonderful platform to which you can come and engage intellectually on issues that affect your disciplines and your knowledge areas, we find this as an encouragement and confirmation that we are one of the universities in the country that are going to bring about the kind of change expected to be brought about by 21st, university, uh, by 21st century universities as it were. Thanks, Prof. Fonga. Um, Neil Evans from the University of Zuland. We've had, we've attempted quite a number of PPPs with our local municipality through our conservation organization. Uh, one of those partnerships was recycling in, in our village. And uh, when we went to the municipality to, to present uh, what we've been doing for the last almost 12 years now, they were very reluctant to hear about it. They were, were more interested to hear about what's happening now. They weren't interested in, in what happened in the, in the past, which I found uh, quite alarming um, for accountability reasons. And one of the recommendations that came up would be that there would be a, a public forum that can monitor PPPs and, and make it accountable so that the municipalities don't just turn off to, to, to uh, public, I mean, private partnerships. Uh, and there was an overarching body that could actually monitor these, these partnerships and make sure that the municipalities actually do their bit, uh, which we found they didn't. So it was just a, a comment. One of the problems with public private partnerships is often the knowledge stays with the private partner. It's not transferred back to the government institution, meaning that there is a dependency that's created because the government institution can then not function without the private partnership. Is there any way that you think we can improve that, that knowledge sharing so that there's less dependency once uh, a project is being completed. First thing, um, I think holding a conference of this caliber is very, very important for scholars uh, in general. And for myself as a startup acad academic right now, so by mainly with the, the professors or the senior academics, you know, you're able to grasp and learn a lot what is it in the field. You know? It makes you updated because they bring new information because here we are sharing information as we are the department of that deals with the information and information science. So for us to meet like this, you get to know what is happening around the world, not only in South Africa. So it's very, very much helpful to have conferences like this because they keep you updated and you're able to network because by networking you're also uh, growing your, I would say, growing your food in saying that you also able to communicate with other um, professors or young academics or scholars around the world and around South Africa as Africa as a whole.